found frogs. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, they super cool. Hey. Rubber. <laughs> I found frogs. Hello. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> the funniest thing I've seen is <laughs> the way they walk. They look like bouncers. Oi, we don't belong in here. Get out. <laughs> oh, they're absolutely wicked. Hello. <laughs>
I think that'll look quite good, that, as you look out. See a big shadow looking at you through the window? <laughs> but anyway, let me catch up with what I'm doing on in here. I'll leave you, to, I'll do this. If you're going to have a look at what else I've been up to, um, and then we'll meet back at the end and we'll discuss future plans. So, until then, I'll crack on busy and you go do what you need to do. See you later. Bye. Resource. We'll get rid of all these as well. And we'll take it down. Let's drop it onto here. Look at that. Simple dimples. Everyone's got pimples. Cool. The good thing is about this is we can reuse it. And we will. Let's start the one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, one, yeah. Okay, so we take them out. I think these are going to touch, I think they're too close. But, we'll get out. Not a problem. Yeah, we are. What's that? I goes in there. And then we'll pour them to here. That's it. Yeah, we'll get it right eventually. Grab them. How oh, lazy that I can't be bothered to change to the spade. <laughs> okay, okay. Ba 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 ba. Two, three, four, five. Miss how we're born then. Three, four, one more, five. Central column on each, and then we're going to put one, two, three, four, drop down, come back, and then go. I knew that I was going to do that. You know, you think to yourself, I can do this. And then we'll come back out a bit. One, two. Drop down. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> now all we do is just put one on each. Yep, so that will grow nicely. Just uh, and what we've done is we've managed to keep everything, but we've just condensed it up a little bit. There's no need for us to have all this clawberry. Nine times out of ten, we'll probably just use it for decoration or if we build new builds. 
we can just pop them out there not a problem so that's that so far so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this grass so what I think we'll do is we'll start off down here I think that looks tons better. What do you think, guys? One hour later. Imagine like having a platform out there. It will make it from wood and, and the mud. We'll keep it the same kind of design. But what we'll do is we'll do like the, the diagonal struts underneath it. Just to give it that bit more support. And then in the end we'll just have the big um, ender portal there. But it's not that far from there. So the chances are it might actually spawn us in the same place. Spread down has got to be easier ways to go from world to world. That hurt. It really did hurt. Anyway, hi, welcome back to Cactus um, tutorial. Um, let's get this underway. Show you how to do it, mates, guys, people. It's so easy. I mean, it's so easy. So just bear with me. We'll get through this, and uh, let's get it going. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to find 16 bits of sand, which we have here. Then we need to dig down the earth by one block. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you need 9 by 9. Then you need to put the, cap the sand in 
like so. Okay. Reason for this is a cactus will not grow if it's touching another block. Which is great for us because it makes this farm even easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with I'm going to use the wool um, that I've got here for a cactus. Um, and then you can see we'll build it from there. So cactus grows three, three high. Okay, as soon as you touch something there, it will break. Okay. So that's all we've got to remember is three high. What we need to do is figure a way of breaking all this. Now we've done this and it's a piece of cake. So what you need to do first of all is you need to grab yourself a load of uh, hoppers, find the central block, smash it down. Okay, and there on the central block, you're gonna put any block there, it doesn't really matter. Because what we want to do is we want to feed that hopper. So I'll show you. Ooh. See that hopper's going into that block, that's fine, okay? That's what we want it to do. So we'll go up here, stand up here, drop another hopper in there, and then we'll just replace that back. Get rid of all this, as you can see, oops. As you can see, I've already made this as though it's on the ground. So because we're in creative, we can pretty much do what we want, it makes things a lot easier. Grab yourself a couple of chests. So I'll just go bang, bang. Now what you want to do is you want to tell, you want to feed that into the chest. So you've got to just go backwards, come down into there. Okay. So just so you can see, blast that out of the way. Just so you can see, that goes in there. Now the best way to make sure that that's working is that we've got four redstone blocks there. Let's make sure it's all working correctly. So what we do is go into the center one, come down here and throw them in there. So one, two, three, four. Now if all they're connected up properly, which it should be, we it should be four in there, which means that that's absolutely spot on. So what we can do now is that we can hide all this stuff now, which is great. Put them back because we're going to need them for a later date. There we go. And then on here, we're just going to chuck all that in like so. There you go. That's your collection system done. Very, very simple, very basic, very easy. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that we get our observer, because that's what we're using. We want the observer facing downwards. Okay. There is. Didn't need to do that. So his red bum sticking up in the air. That's what we want. Once we've done that, you can get rid of all this if you wanted to. Um, if not, you can just keep it there. Any block there as a reference for yourself. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to grab some wood, which we've got here. And remember, we are making a step. So one, two, three. Okay. I'm just going to bring that out a couple of bits here. So this is the cactus. Now, remembering nothing can go next to the cactus. Okay, nothing can go next to the cactus. So we're going to go up again. Okay, there you go. Nothing's touching that cactus now. Dead simple. So what you need to do, just quickly, throw some redstone on there. Now here comes the fun bit. We want a redstone block to come out so it's here it has to be here okay so what we can do is we'll just drop into there put the sticky piston the redstone we'll put that a blocker and that okay so as you can see nothing is touching the sides of that cactus i know it's redstone nothing's touching the side of that cactus but what we do have what we do have is something quite cool We'll just bring this back out a bit more. Now that, those pistons will knock out them four. The next one will knock out these four. So again, sticky piston, redstone, a blocker, and then a normal piston. Okay. And there it is. Dead simple. So we can get rid of that now. We don't need it. Okay. So now what we've got to do is on this side, just quickly bring down the redstone across here. 
uh, because it's like that we can just tidy up a bit we don't need all that there you go that's how that will work now what will happen cactus hits that that will fire and then they should all work okay so what we quickly do is we'll quickly do the other side I am going to put one there because I can't stand it when it's like that it drives me mad all. okay so what we need to do is we need to bring this round we don't want it covering the edge okay so it's up to you how you want to do it you can bring it around like this again we don't want it covering the edge and as you can see that's one clear block before it comes back so one clear block and then we'll bring it back okay just like so we'll put one there and we'll put one there exactly the same on this side Ooh. so put one there one there redstone a blocker and a normal one so again redstone blocker and a normal piston just like so okay just make sure that we're not over or next to the sand so we've got a clear block through which we have done fantastic okay next thing next one to get is a couple of repeaters you want one there and you want now basically what we're doing is we want the signal to keep traveling okay now you probably get away with one but if you put two you're going to make sure that you are going to get a solid signal you do not want any tick on this because you want it to hit and retract straight away goodness me reason being is because if it stays there it's going to cause you problems all right so that's pretty much it now what i have found in the past is you are going to need some glass now this glass is done to go on this block that block this block that block there 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 and there there you go have a look so the glass goes the reason the glass goes on there because when you hit the cactus because you're hitting on number two sometimes number three will fall on top of these blocks you don't want that it's a loss okay so that's all you have to do just leave it like that okay so all nice and readily done next you want to do is you want to grab some buckets four buckets initially um, we've talked about how you can make um, never-ending or endless water supplies you can have to do the three method or the four method I'm not going to bore you to tears of doing that there you go do that and you want to make sure that that's going to um, collect everything so just fire a couple over on this side so on this side so on this side uh, we'll travel this way we'll throw some into the oop we'll throw some into here we're just throwing these randomly and what we'll, there you go so gives us a bit more time to throw which is cool we'll just throw some more here okay and what should happen is everything should go down there apart from the stuff that's caught on there again bum, 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 bum. oh there's one there as well oh, we'll chuck that one in so if all this is working we should have 64 glass and we do so that tells you that this system collection system is working perfectly okay now what we want to do now is we want to test it now you don't have to do this next bit um, I did it for one for a bit of aesthetics I can't even say that word but I just think it finishes off a nice glass pane um, just along the edges um, this just makes sure well doesn't really do anything in all fairness it's just just to make it look a bit pretty okay you can do it this way why make life difficult there we go through there around there quick along to there oh round here and we are joined okay so next what we want to do is grab our cactus cacti cactus whatever you want to call it so only a one two three and i'm only doing this just to show you how it works okay the chances are that the one that's got the observer may grow to be three high before any of the others but it will kick off all four of them um, people may say well that's a waste well it isn't really because what's going to happen is it's going to farm 
everything that's ready over two. We'll not farm one, which means that number one will stay here all the time, which means we have continuous growth. So number one will stay there, number two and three will be gone. So here we are. So this is your cactus farm when it's growing. So what I'm going to do is just pop one here and we have an issue. Where do we have an issue? Okay, slight correction. <laughs> when you do it like this, do it there. Because what's happening is when you drop the redstone here, it's confusing the pistons. Okay, so just to prove to you that it does work. And I know it works because I've got it in my base. Just fill these back up for you. Ooh. Okay, so we've got three high on everyone. So one, there we go, all come down there. Hey, okay, we've got enough that cactus now, and this farm will run for eternity. I swear to God, that hurts every time we land. Never mind. Look what I found. When we first came here, we found Jelly wandering around. And look, we've got a friend. Jelly's a friend. Yay. So, cactus farm in the world. Looks like this. Again, you can see where we went wrong. That's my collection system. Like I said to you in the film before, you can do this any way you want to. No one can tell you what to do. There you go, I've got some green dye on both of these. Simple furnace array, just let it drop in. You control what you want it to do, it's your world. And as I always said in Minecraft, you can never make a mistake in Minecraft. Reason being is, it's your builds. No one can tell you how to build it, no one can tell you what you're doing wrong. Unless you're ultra critical. But no, that's it for this week, well, for today. Um, hopefully I can get another one out. I've got another tutorial planned for you. Um, and it is the farm that's right opposite me. Um, for those of you who are a little bit more astute and observant, you'll notice that it's um, using flying machines. Um, so I'll show you how to make a very simple flying machine um, and not from the one I made on um, the stream because that one went drastically wrong and I'll explain why it went wrong. But no, very easy flying machine to build. Show you how to make a very simple bamboo farm. It is a little bit costly, but all will be fine. Guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Take care, be cool, and remember, keep building. Bye!